please can you start reading Mr. Story? Please can you start reading Mr. Story? Please, please can you start reading Mr. Story? What story would you like? That's me, um, the story. Dick, Dick, Turner, and, and the Crazy Clown. Oh, really? Wow, well, okay, I'll read you a story. I'll read you Dick Turner and the Crazy Clowns. How's that sound? Pretty good. Ew. <laughs> it says Dick Turnip is the villain oh, of the Must Oh, my is Oh, your face? Sorry, Mr. Doggy. Oh, no, this is the girlie. You're the girlie, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> what's her name? Sorry, what's your name? I don't know. Are you Luli? Mm, yeah. You're Luli. Are you Lucas? No. Lucas the dog? Oh, is this Rachel the dog? Mm-hmm. Oh, hello, Rachel the dog. And is this Lucas the, the girl dolly? No? Yes? <laughs> Lukette. <laughs> and, and I'm Sarah. Sarah. Can't see Sarah's face. <laughs> <laughs> so shall I start reading the story to you all? This one's Pooh. Cool. And Pooh. Okay. <laughs> Dick Turnip and the Crazy Clowns. The Munch Bunch had just come home from the circus where they'd had a great time watching the lions, the tightrope walkers, and the jugglers. Corny liked the clowns best, so Emma had dressed him up to look like one. He looked very funny. What is Emma? Emma? Emma's your little sister. Oh, you mean in the book? Oh, in the book? Uh, he was a corn cob. No, corny. Emma was the apple, I think. Yeah, green apple. <laughs> Soon, lots of the Munch Bunch were pretending to be clowns. Tom Tomato was trying to spin plates on sticks, but he wasn't very good at it, because he's a circus. <laughs> he looked like he smashed some, do you reckon? But they didn't look shattered. That's crazy. But there are eggs turning into their faces. Really? Eggs turning into faces? Oh, they're, they're throwing eggs in their faces, yeah. So, oh no, I'll tell you what it goes like. It was super cool. It was walking on very tall, tall stilts, and Billy and Scruff were throwing custard what pies at each other. Scruff? <laughs> Scruff? Scruff must be the blackberry, isn't it? Meow. Meow. Here's the cat. Oh <laughs> Dick Turnip and his gang hadn't been to the circus, and they had no idea what the rest of the Munch Punch were doing. <laughs> there goes Lucky. Okay, let's continue reading. Yep. Uh, peering from behind a bush, they saw little Olive dancing along happily dressed as a clown. I bet she'll have some sweets with her, said Dick. Do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> they rushed towards Olive and surrounded her. Olive was frightened, but she had an idea. Would you like to smell my flower? she asked sweetly. Dick bent down to sniff the flower in Olive's buttonhole. Ugh, he yelled. As the flower suddenly squirted wa water right into his eye. Ah. My. <laughs> That's a trick flower. <laughs> I can see your face, Rachel. Oh, Rachel. See? I can see your face. Oh, no. oh, but your ear is missing. What does Rachel say? Blah, blah. What does Rachel say? My ear is missing, but I don't know why I think. Oh, okay. That's okay, but you don't need that to Maybe listen to the story because the air on this side is really good. Maybe we should find it in the air and um, story. And the story, okay. Um, I'm not sure if the vegetables will have the air or Rachel or the doggy. Um, <laughs> maybe there's a doggy in the story that can have the air. We'll see if we can find it, eh? <laughs> Nearby, Pippa Pear, also dressed as a clown, was playing with her skipping rope. Do you see what I see, lads? asked Dick. Yep. The Pepper Pear has always got plenty of sweets. <laughs> Let's get her, said the other turnips. See? Pepper Pear. She's skipping her. <laughs> Next page. <laughs> Hello, boys, called Pepper as she swung the skipping rope around her head. Have you seen this trick before? she asked as the rope curled around Dick and the turnip gang's feet, bringing them to the ground with a thud. 
I saw it at the circus, she added. See, he's falling all the way on the ground with the thud. Yep, Bob. Yep, Bob. Does that look quite funny? Ah! <laughs> uh, yeah! Oh! Hello, I'm Lulu. You see Lulu? <coughs> oh, you're supposed to speak to Lulu. Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should hurry up and read. Next page. Okay. When the turnips had finally untangled themselves from Pippa's rope, they set off to find another victim. Pedro. Lucy and Pedro. Thanks, Nat. <laughs> got the keys. Lucy and Pedro got the keys. This is for turning keys. the page. Maybe this can be um, for turning the page. So you have to jingle it when it's time to turn the page. <laughs> okay, Marielle. Don't go in front of the screen, Lucas. <laughs> I mean, Lucas. Oh, Lucas is your back. Lucas is back. But you're covering everybody's faces. Lucas the cat. Hey, you're covering Rachel's face. <laughs> Make sure Lukey doesn't get in the video. Video? Yeah, it's only puppets. Oh, video. When the turnips had finally untangled themselves from Pippa's rope, they set off to find another victim. Lucy and Pedro, dressed in their clowns' outfits, were riding on a new seesaw which Bounce had made for them. Come on, lads, said Dick. Shouted Dick. Page Jingle. Got any sweets? asked Dick. Threateningly, Lucy and Pedro climbed out from their seesaw. We haven't, I'm afraid, replied Lucy. Would you like a ride instead? Dick liked riding on seesaws, so he eagerly sat on one end of it. Who's coming on? he asked. See? Who's coming on? he asked. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. Oh, uh, the two of them that were sitting on the seesaw will oh. jump on. Really? Okay. Lucy and Pedro leapt into the air and landed on the other end of the seesaw. Oh. <laughs> Dick shot into the air and sailed over the heads of his gang. Help! Help! He cried. Can you say help? Help! Help! help. help. That was a squeak. Can you uh -huh. say it together at once? Help! help. help. <laughs> Lucy and Pedro laughed. Can you all laugh at the same time? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right, they call. Can you say, serves you right? Serves you right, yeah. Don't let Lukey go in front. <laughs> Here he Lickie comes. Lukey has back. Can you say, serves you right, Lukey? No, what can you say? Oh, say, uh, George. George, can you say something? George. Dong ding. Dong ding. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, Dick climbed up from the rubbish tip where he had landed and was being dusted down by his faithful followers when Barnabas Beetroot, the banker, walked by. Let's forget about sweets, lads, suggested Dick. If we steal Barnabas's money, we can buy all the sweets we want. Page jingle. <laughs> oh no, Lily's gone. All day long, Dick Turnip and his gang carried tall bushes from the woods to a quiet place in the garden. They dug lots of holes in the ground and planted the bushes, making a, ver a large and very complicated maze. See the bushes? Oh, she's getting the man. Loki, uh, Luli, you're not a man. <laughs> you're a beautiful girl. <laughs> Can't you find the beautiful girl? The man. Oh, you're looking for the man. And page jingle. Then they dressed up as clowns and stood at the entrance of the maze, waiting for their victim. Barnabas Beetroot strolled by on his way from the bank. He was carrying a large bank bag of money. Would you like to come into our maze? asked Dick. Jingle. <laughs> Barnabas was very excited. Thank you, clowns, he said. I haven't been in a maze since I was a baby Beetroot. Dick and his gang giggled, giggled as they watched Barnabas go deeper and deeper into the maze. He's bound to get lost, laughed Dick. Then we can leap on him and grab his money. <laughs> page jingle. Next page. <laughs> Barnabas did get lost. He wandered around and round in the maze, trying to find his way out. Dick and his gang were just about to leap on the unhappy beetroot when Super Cool peered over the top of one of the bushes. He was walking on his new stilts. Leaning over the bush, he lifted Barnabas out of the maze and back into the garden. Oh no, sighed Dick. Foiled again. Then the turnips began to panic. How do we get out of here, boss? they asked. Dick gulped nervously. I don't know, lads, he replied. Can you say, I don't know, lads? 
Hey, Stingle. See, I don't know, lads. And then the last page. Dick and his gang wandered around for hours, trying to find their way out of the maze. Super cool told his friends what had happened, and they all made stilts so that they could peer over the bushes to watch the fun. This is even better than the circus, they all agreed. Luli, can you say this is even better than the circus? Oh, What? Can you say this is better than the circus? Oh, That's not oh, wah. Can you say this is better than the circus? This is better than the circus. Thank you very much. Shall we turn it off? Is that the end of the story? Yeah. Dick, turn it, but don't don't come in front yet because I've got to punch on the code because this thing's gone all uh, funny. I can edit that bit. <laughs>